This episode has me more nervous than any other episode. You guys gotta remember, this is like a year and a half in the making. So quick update. A, we're gonna catch you guys up what you missed last week, but B, at the end of this episode, I'm gonna drift this thing for the first time ever, which has me more nervous than ever. I never get nervous to drift, but I've never driven this car. Anyways, let's get into this episode. All right, so putting the puzzle pieces together, in the last episode, we left you guys off at the dyno. Technically, this episode, we should be on the dyno. Our dude, Roman, had a few things pop up, so we weren't able to make it back to the dyno this week. This is why we're gonna drift this thing in the backyard for the first time later in the episode. But a few things that you missed between last episode and this episode, let's go over them. Let's go to when we were at the dyno. Uh, the PDMs had a few channels that were having issues, water pump, fuel pump, and we kind of were trying to sort those out. We found out what happened. The result was basically the PDMs and the duty cycles were not aligning. So the duty cycle on the water pump was set at 100 and the PDM was saying, yo dude, you're gonna overwork this thing? No. So Link saved the day. Mike the engineer connected with Tony and Roman and they sorted all of that out in a flash. So good news, water pumps are good. Fuel pumps were on us. So for those wondering about the fuel pumps, we actually wired two fuel pumps into one and we had an error there. So we fixed that, super easy. All the Dietrich stuff worked right out of the box. Um, what else did they miss, Tito? They also missed the clutch. So we ended up having to bring the car back home because we had a seal in our clutch that went out, which we're very familiar with fixing. And my boy Adrian had that thing done like in half a day. So with that being said, just to recap, we are not at the dyno, so we're pivoting and we're gonna burn out for the first time ever in this car. And before I do that, I really want you guys to hear this thing and just admire it in the way it sits before I've ever drifted it because it will never be this clean ever because I'm about to break some shit. So check this car out.
comfortable like very quickly. It was awesome, man. I feel like James Dean, bro. <laughs> I just heard Bailey say, I wonder how close he was. Dude, look at these lines, Tito. That was crazy. I'm feeling really comfortable in this thing, day one. So, geez, man. All right, in the next episode, we're headed back to the Dino to actually put some numbers down for you guys. Stay tuned.